the Bronx Bombers. Yes, the Bronx Bombers are back like it's the 1920s. Yankees are minus 170, hosting the Cleveland Guardians on the money line. Juan Soto, Giancarlo Stanton are hitting home runs like they are Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. But where is Aaron Judge? Did he forget his bat at home? Don't you worry, Yankee fans and Yankee betters. Judge will mash soon, and I think that today could be the day. We all are talking that the all who are talking to Yankees is just a reminder that God hates Cleveland. Joking, of course, because this is a betting show, and we're all about the money. Show me the money. The Guardians are sending Tanner Bebe to the mound to face monsters. The Howley Fair will found out tonight. I sure like me some bebe. Let's take a look at the best bets between the Yankees and the Cleveland Guardians. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about the best bets between the Guardians and the Yankees ALCS Game 2. Hopefully, we have a little bit better of a day than we did yesterday where we Basically, just went 500 on baseball. But we had some, you know, minus money bets and kind of ended up with a slight loss on the day. But let's talk about the bets. We're going to start off with my lock of the day, which is Tanner Bebe over 13.5 outs higher. We're going to actually add every one of these to the spreadsheet so you guys can see our bets. So I'm going to share my spreadsheet tab here now. And we're going to add Tanner Bebe 13.5 outs higher today. I really believe this one is a lock. It's an absolute lock. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But first, I do want to talk about RotoWire. RotoWire gives me a great way to research bets. And his fantasy score on the bets is way higher. And that's part of the reason why I believe that he is going to score a lot. His projected for 26 fantasy points, 21.5 is the line on fantasy, which means he's going to get enough outs. And in general, he's projected for 14 outs according to metrics, so he's only one, one batter more. But his one road start versus the Yankees this season, he had 16 outs in five and a third, 16 outs. That's five and a third ending. He averages 17 outs on the road this season. Yet he hasn't hit it in either postseason start, but he only has a 2.08 ERA in two postseason starts. And before that, he hit 15 outs or more 10 in a row before the postseason. The Guardians had to go to the bullpen early last game after two and a third innings. So they need to rely on Baby, Baby, to pitch into at least the sixth inning to give him a chance to win the game. We have added that to our spreadsheet here. That is my lock of the day. Next, we're going to add Glaber Torres of the New York Yankees to have over a hit minus 245 on Caesars or other sports books. He had three hits in his last two postseason games. And in eight games versus Cleveland this season, Torres has had hits in seven of those eight games. His projections have him at 1.28 hits, and he has a hit in 16 of his last 20 games, and he's batting 266 on the season versus right-handed pitching. If you do the math, he's probably going to face pitching about four times. It could be right-handed. So the odds are giving us Glaber Torres to go over that. We're going to go Jose Ramirez as well. Over 1.49 babes. Well, that'd be nice for him if he got over 1.49 babes today. But bases minus 194. Reasoning. Let's give you our reasoning on this one. Pretty simple to me. When you took a little look at Jose Ramirez, he's projected for 1.23 bases today. He's hit it in two out of his last three games. But let's take a look at his splits versus Garrett Cole this season and his career. In his career, he's batting 353 against Garrett Cole and 34 at-bats, including two home runs. He has an on-base percentage versus Garrett Cole of 452. 
He's only batting 150 in the postseason. So facing a pitcher he seems comfortable against, like Garrett Cole, is a good way to get it going for Jose Ramirez in the postseason. And last but not least, we're going Aaron Judge over a home run. Yes, Aaron Judge is finally going to hit a home run this postseason, and today is going to be the day Aaron Judge hits his home run. Let me tell you why. He's projected for 1.23 bases. Sorry, that's Jose Ramirez. Aaron Judge is due for a home run. This postseason has been somewhat disastrous for Aaron Judge, as every postseason Aaron Judge has played for has been disastrous. He hasn't homered since September 28th, which is, what, 17 days ago? And he's the best home run hitter in all of baseball. And this season, he has five home runs against Cleveland. He's batting 133 all postseason. Aaron Judge is just too good of a batter to continue this slump. Let's see what these would do for you on underdog and if you use promo code on tap you'll get up to a thousand dollar bonus on your first deposit or you click the link in our description and you'll be able to bet all of these find your best sports book but underdog has a great way to build player parlays so we're going to start off with the aaron judge bet make sure i am sharing my screen aaron judge to hit a home run if we can get that anywhere, where is Aaron Judge home run on this? There we go. Aaron Judge home run. We're going to go Jose Ramirez. Over half a base. We're going to go Tanner, B Tanner Bibby, who I cannot pronounce his name, and I apologize to him. Uh, where are we at? Underdog. Tanner, 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 baby. Boom. 13.5 pitching outs and Torres to just get a hit. You combine all four of those, it's going to pay you a 7.9x. So $100 will get you $800. US This is my favorite bet, bet today on the ALCS. And I do want to mention, if you are in a state that does not allow sports betting for some reason, which a lot of states don't, one of our sponsors for this show is the Rebet app. And the Rebet app is a great way to bet on sports if you're in a state that doesn't allow sports betting. It is legal in 46 of 50 states, including Washington, Texas, California. And what's cool about the Rebet app is you can bet real cash money redeem it for real cash money, and it works perfectly. The reason they can do this is they have something called the sweepstakes model, which has allowed them to get their licenses in all these states, including Washington, Texas, California. So those are our best bets for the ALCS today. Make sure you bet them and get the best lines possible.